probably everybody knows this, but I'll say it anyway, an introduction. There are two mountain gorilla populations, and the Guidi population is unique in that there's a, whole, there's a lot of human wildlife interface. There are lots of fragmented pockets around the park, and there's basically the gorillas are here in the forest and the people are here. And the gorillas very often come out into people's own community land. At the same time, people live very far away from health centers. There's been an improvement in Buhoma itself because now there's a Windy Community Health Center. But for a long time, it hadn't been there. It was actually built by tourism revenue funds from Wildlife Authority. But then in other parts of Windy, there's no health centers. And also places where the gorillas often range, like in Jenge Parish, um, Kuringo side. So it's very hard for people to get treatment. So there's a big opportunity for disease spread between people and gorillas. Um, this is a scabies outbreak which occurred in 96, which triggered the whole thought process. Um, we always thought that people were a threat, but this actually proved that people were a threat. And we had an infant dying and everybody got sick and had to be treated with ivermectin. Two years, four years later, the same outbreak occurred in Kuringo group. And MGBP vets plus the attending vet Joseph Okori, I think even Dr. Peter Pell joined in, went and dealt with that issue. And it wasn't until every gorilla was started with ivermectin that the outbreak was brought under control. But of course, it's very difficult to duck these animals, especially if you've been there before. And so it's a very challenging process. 